Hey everybody, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and I want to welcome you to Friday Fun Live. Give me one second here. I'm just going to make sure that we are really live. I'm not seeing this on my video yet. Oh, we are. Yay. Just trying to verify everything. All right. Well, we survived. Let me adjust this a little bit. There we go. Um, I just wanted to thank you all, start off by thanking you all for your prayers and your concern. I got so many sweet comments and encouragements about, you know, the storm and everything. Um, thankfully, the weak side of hurricane, hurricane, let's see if I can say this right, Isaias, um, came through our area, but we did not get really, really bad winds as much as they did just north of us. So we are really thankful for that only have to replace part of a gutter which my husband can probably do next time he's down here so we are good thank you thank you thank you um just for your kind words and everything so that was you know this is just the beginning of hurricane season but um you know i'll take hurricanes like that that was not so bad here um did notice that a lot of you all north of us i think in the jersey area actually in other parts you know in the states north of us look like you guys got the worst of it or at least more problems and you know I definitely feel concerned for you so um, hope that's none of you all but anyway ooh, lots of people in the chat let me go ahead and greet everybody while I can Donna Marshall thank you for joining us good to see you and Esther um, Esther and I have some really exciting news um, Esther's sister is actually engaged now to my younger son Joseph so we're real excited about that just found out about that last night that's a pretty pretty big deal, but not not unexpected. So really happy about that. Um, not sure how that's going to work with the pandemic. That's going to be a little little bit of a fuss. But um, anyway, that's really really exciting news. I just wanted to start off with that. And um, Jan, good to see you. And as it as it as it um, Nagar and um, oh looks like Stephanie's in the chat. Hey Stephanie, it's good to see you. I got. I got your blanket here. I'm going to be talking about that in just a second. Um, we have Donnie from Saskatchewan, Canada. Wow. Yes, thank you. Everybody here is fine. Um, I know that some people had some issues. There's a more damage up North Myrtle Beach, uh, more along the coast. We're just about six or seven miles inland. So uh, while we did get some pretty high gusts here, um, it was really strange hearing the gutter fall off the house. But, you know, thankfully that that was all that we had to deal with. Um, the house that we're living in is very strong and very well built so that you know, it's brick so that that helps a lot We don't have to worry about too much siding or anything going because it's all brick So um, it was a house built by my in-laws many many years ago even using their own lumber from from the land so I mean it's um It's built like a rock. <laughs> so um, But anyway, we're, we're really blessed in that um, Let's see we have Angie and Michelle and and is it? Is it Tineke? Um, she says, hi, Bonnie. Good to see you. Happy you're all safe. Yes, we are so thankful. And Swati. Hey, Swati from sunny LA. And um, let's see. We have Patsy. She said, I got my mask ordered. I like it. I'm so glad, Patsy. I've been wearing my mask. Actually, that's my go-to one. The masks that are in my Teespring store. And let me go ahead and lead off with that. I forgot to mention this last week. Because of your your help and your support, the sale of every single um, pat any any of you that ordered um, the the copy of the pattern from a Lovecraft store for this design, this is the wheat cabled heirloom baby blanket, and this is up in my store. Many of you've seen this already. It's a nice blanket to make in the summertime. It's um, using the uh, nurturing fibers. I have the links in the video description below. Um, the Nurturing Fibers Eco Fusion yarn, although the Eco Cotton yarn would also work well on this. Um, anyway, um, all proceeds that I've earned from the sale of this pattern and the sale of any of the face masks that you purchased from my Teespring store, um, that would be the designer income from those purchases. All of that was donated this week, yay, to um, Shriners Hospital for Children. And together, um, your support of the pattern and everything, 
um, we were able to donate $176.43 just for the month of July. So that is that is like fantastic. I am really looking forward to doing this. You know, every, every time this pattern sales, every penny is going to them. And again, profits from the mask, the same. So super excited about that. Um, it's an organization that I really want to get behind. Um, for many reasons, um, Esther, who's in our group chat, has had, as she said, it was okay to say this, has had many surgeries that are free um, when she was a child. My mother-in-law had polio when she was growing up, when she was a baby. She had many surgeries there too, all free of cost. And Bobby, I hope Bobby, I hope you're in the chat. I haven't seen you come up yet, but um, another guy in our chat um, also had many surgeries there. Again free of charge. So whenever you, you know, I'm going to, you know, designate certain patterns here and there that as we go about, but I'm um, just for now though, the mask and the, um, the air sweet cabled heirloom baby blanket is, is all, all the proceeds go to that. So if you're one of those folks, that's like, Oh, I hate paying for patterns. I only do free stuff. That's fine. But you know, think about this one maybe because this one is not just going to me, not that that would be a bad thing, but, um, it's, it's also going to help others outside of our community. So, so I'm real excited about that. Um, let me see who else we got. A lot of folks just scrolled by here. Um, oh, we have Daisy Guthrie. She says, so glad you're okay. Thank you, Daisy. And Claire she said, good afternoon from Suffolk in the UK. Wow, thank you for joining us. Um, you must be getting ready for supper there. Um, the house. Oh. Um, Stephanie says, um, yes, this house has been through a lot of storms. Yeah, I asked my mother-in-law, how many hurricanes have you been through? And she's like, she doesn't know. There's been so many. And um, I don't know, many of you remember some of the bigger ones um, back in the 80s. Hugo came through uh, here. Um, let's see, who else? Um, when she, They had Florence two years ago that caused lots of flooding in this area. It actually delayed my son's college for a couple weeks. Um, there have been a lot of them. They, they had like two, two last year. Um, anyway, I can't remember them all, but yeah, she's been through a bunch of hurricanes. And in fact, one of them many years ago actually landed two giant trees on the house and one that just crashed through the barn and they had to have it rebuilt. They had to have like a, what is it? A, um, a crane to lift the tree off the house. It was so, so big. But because the house is brick, the 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 tree sliced through the roof. This is not this this not past week. This was years ago. Sliced through the roof, and it stopped right where the brick began. So if it wasn't for the brick, I think the house would have probably been really trashed. But um, you know, within you know a couple of months, the house was back. So that and they've been through yeah a lot of storms. That's when the house used to be surrounded by like hundred foot tall pine trees, and after that. That storm, um, my father, -in -law, my late father-in-law had all the trees taken out around the house. He's like, I am not going to sit through another storm wondering which tree is coming for me. So they cut the trees down around the, the house directly. And we've got lots of other trees um, you know, surrounding the property, but directly around the house in, you know, in striking distance of the house, they're gone. So that also makes me feel better. There's nothing like hearing 100 mile an hour wind blowing through 100 foot trees that are like right next to your house it's it's not something that, that i enjoy very much um and i do remember doing that as a child with palm trees in south florida and hurricanes and my dad actually ended up taking some of those out of the yard just so that i wouldn't be so scared um oh, god bless him all right we have rhonda with what's on the hook um she says god is good bonnie glad you guys are safe yes he is amen to that we have Michelle Wiley, and um, let's see, I think I'm kind of caught up. Let's see, Trish says um, she's in North New Jersey, and she said we made it. Good, Trish. I was wondering about you all. My, my son, who just got engaged, is actually in New Jersey, so I'm glad you all are okay. Um, I, I just heard a lot more. You had a lot more tornadic activity up there. Um, we had some, we, there were two near us, but... Um, we were, I was keeping an ear out for that and I didn't go to bed until the tornado warnings had expired um, Monday night, but, but yeah. So we have Mary, she's like, she says hello from the, from the northeast of England. Hey Mary, thank you for joining us from so far away across the pond there. 
And um, Johnny's in the chat. He says, glad we dodged that bullet. Yeah, our friend Johnny is down in um, South Florida, not too far from where I grew up. And I'm glad you dodged that too. I was thinking about you all when I was watching the, you know, watching the tra trajectory of that thing. Um, and Lady Rose is in the chat. Hey, thank you. Thank you for your well wishes. Yeah, we are fine. And um, let's see, Kathy says it's a beautiful day in Southwest Ontario. Our Canadian friend, thank you for joining us. I'm glad you're having a good day there. Um, can you believe we're into August already? I, I, I can't imagine that, how we got here <laughs> so fast. Um, I guess one stitch at a time. Um, let's see, I'm just trying to greet everybody here. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. We have Michelle Hamilton. And thank you for your congrats. I appreciate that. And so Sharon from Kansas. And Jody and Cindy, she says, happy Friday, everyone. Glad you weathered the storm. Yep, we're good. Actually, we got a, it's a funny, we had a thunderstorm like the week before the hurricane that was probably even stronger <laughs> coming through here. Um, but it didn't last near as long and, and didn't get near as much rain. We got like four inches of rain overnight from that hurricane. And let's see... And thank you, Gail, for your congrats. I will pass them along to Joseph. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm just I'm just all over the place here, guys, on looking at these messages. And thank you, Paula. Um, uh, yeah, we're fine. And, and is it Mar Margita, thank you for joining us. And um, ah, Sheila Dale says, finally made it for your live video. Hey, Sheila. Sorry it took me so long to see your comment. I'm just slow. <laughs> um, never was a fast reader. Um, and we have Pretty Lady, 86 Trolls from New Brunswick, Canada. Wow, I've always wanted to drive up to New Brunswick, Canada. Maybe someday I'll get to do that. Um, let's see, Rebecca from Missouri. Wow, you are joining us early. I guess it's breakfast time or, or uh, brunch, I guess, out there in Missouri. And we have Liz and Paula from Virginia. And we have Lynn. From Chicago, my friend Lynn, thank you for all your kind comments, Lynn. She says, praise the Lord for you, Sister Bonnie. Very excited to be here for your life. Thank you for joining us with uh, with us, Lynn. It's good to have you too. Um, oh, we have Millie from West Palm Beach. Oh, I know West Palm Beach. Used to go to the racetrack up there many, many years ago. I don't know if you remember the half mile track they used to have up there, but anyway, I used to do that as a teen. Um, we have Proud Grammy Crochets. Thanks for joining us. And Angelita Gonzalez. And let's see. I just have a bunch of things go on me. Um, and, and also, thank you guys for being patient with me as I go through this. I mean, you know, greeting you all. I, I just really enjoy just finding out from where you are. And you know we're going to talk about crochet and stuff. I think, I think especially in this, um, you know, this pandemic, it's just good to just, just have a little chat and just greet one another um, that's one thing I miss more than anything is just being with my friends and just seeing people face to face even if it's just for a few minutes um, I think somebody put a message on my um, YouTube channel last time she was frustrated because she had watched 15 minutes of us jabbering I guess back and forth and um, like well, I want to see crochet <laughs> and I'm gonna get to that I promise um, but but you know this is more about more than just about crochet it's about about relationships, about building a community, and you know, just just hanging out for a few minutes together. Um, I learned a lot, I think, from Stephanie. Uh, she's in our chat with it to um, crochet a clock. Just about just the importance of people, and just um, you know, I, I don't want this to be a sales pitch the whole time. I mean, there's some things that I'm going to be excited to share with you and tell you about. Yeah, but yeah, you know, I just don't want it to to feel like a slick sales spiel. That's not me, and you know, I I just want to. You know, check in with you all and just see how you're doing. And, and you know, we have life, lives outside of our hooks, believe it or not. Um, even though these days it's, it's hard to imagine that because I'm, you know, inside so much with my hook or, or with my computer working on stuff. But um, I just also want to let you know how meaningful this has been to me. I really do look forward to this time together um, all week. Um, I know I'm just sitting here talking to myself in a sense, but I'm, I'm reading your interactions and this is just so meaningful to me and has been, you know, a real godsend to me. Uh, ah, 
and Stephanie and crochet o'clock says no where has the year gone Stephanie I think it just evaporated my friend I, I still remember our times in New York City with um, Jennifer I mean I just man I am so glad I did that trip with you all I because that I had like four trips planned this year significant trips and and it started off with New York City in January and uh, with with Stephanie and, and um, Jennifer from um, with from from South Africa and her wonderful mom Jane um, Stephanie, uh, Jennifer, if you're watching, please tell Jane. I so love being with her. She was a great, great mama, a great woman, a great friend. But anyway, um, you know, after after that January trip, everything that was planned has totally been canceled. My husband and I even had a special trip planned to celebrate his 60th birthday. That he's he he turned 60 in April, and um, it was a kind of a, a bucket list kind of a thing for him and he surprised me with it last year saying this is what we're gonna do and uh, I was so excited about it it was a cruise I've never ever been on a cruise in my life uh, but anyway we got word of it this week that it's been canceled it's actually been moved to 2022 which is actually very good news um, that means we won't have to go on a ship with a mask all the time um, and um, I'm really looking forward to it um, it's um, I'm not going to even tell you what it's all about because it may not happen. You know, I may not even be here in 2022. Who knows what the Lord's going to do? But um, but it is something fun to look forward to. So I was just really happy that even though we can't go because of the pandemic, um, we'll celebrate his 60th birthday when he turns 62, and and take the trip. So looking forward to that. Um, thank you all for the congrats for Joseph. Um, Let's see. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I am missing a lot of comments here. Um, we have Donna says, good morning, friends. Congratulations, Bonnie, for your Carolina Sun Throw nomination. Yes, thank you, Donna. Um, a tribute to your fiber skills. Thanks for that reminder. That's one thing I wanted to make mention. I don't have the Afghan to show you because um, I think it, I, Stephanie, I think it may still be at my house if you haven't gotten it yet because it got sent to my house in Gaithersburg and my husband's supposed to forward it on but I need to just double check to see where that is but um, I actually donated the Afghan to the to the Snowball Express which is a program that you can learn about um, uh, I think I might have a link in the if you, you don't even need a link all you need to do is Google Snowball Express and you can find out all about it um, that has actually been canceled for this year um, due to the COVID-19 however um, Stephanie is going to be saving all the Afghans that are sent to her now, and then we're going to just, 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 you know, throw them all at them next year. So the the um, Carolina Sun throw, it's the one with the browns and the yellows that looks kind of like a sun. Um, I just found out yesterday that it was nominated for Pattern of the Month with Lovecrafts.com, and if you want to vote for that, my, my pattern on Lovecrafts, all you need to do, there's a link in the video description below, and you click on that, and then I, you have to you kind of follow the prompts, then you have to click on a box that says uh, vote for designer. Thing. There are like two boxes, and it's like the second box. So anyway, you click on that box, and then you'll see pictures, and then what you do is you click the heart on the one that you like. There are like 10 patterns there. And um, I don't know that there's any grand prize if you win. I think it's kind of like, I don't know, a status symbol. I, I, I don't know. But uh, I didn't even know that this existed until they sent me an email that the pattern had been nominated. So if you all have time to do that, that would be great. Just you know, go follow the links to, um, to that. It's in the video description for the pattern of the month. Um, and I appreciate those of you who have already done that. I posted this on my Facebook page yesterday. And um, it was like, man, you guys really, really really are uh, people of your word because they, they went, every y'all went in and voted. And so I think now it's like, man, it's like up to like 55 votes, which is a lot for that page. So um, thanks for doing that. And I don't know when the voting ends. I think it maybe ends at the end of the month. So um, I guess, and I think you can just vote one time. And that I think is good. That's the fair way to do it. It's the way all voting should be. But anyway, <laughs> um, thank you for for considering doing that and for those of you who have already done that for me thank you so much it does not go unnoticed by me um, I'm the only person here at bonniebaycrochet.com so far so if you're getting any interaction with social media with me it's me I don't I don't have a secretary or 
or an assistant or any of that. So, and if I'm if you if you're delay if I'm delayed in getting back to you about anything, um, or if you think maybe I forgot you and you sent me something and I didn't respond, send it again because sometimes it does get get lost. But I try to be real good about that. Okay, let me go back and see what we got here. Ooh, um, Swati says um, the hurricanes remind me of one I lived through as a kid in 1999. Ooh, a Category 5 in the Indian Ocean. Oh my gosh, Swati, those are the worst. Um, I never realized how bad it was until afterward and how lucky we were to make it out of this alive. Swati, I agree. Um, I think I maybe talked talk to you all before about my, my cousin, um, Rick, in Homestead, Florida. He, he went through Homestead and got out of it with his life and, and was grateful. He survived with a mattress over his head in the bathroom of his home. Um, especially after the roof went airborne and the wind blew through. Um, I mean, this it was also a category storm. This was back in 1992, I believe. Um, I was there, um, let me see, 90, yeah, it was 1992. I was there in early, Christ, like around Christmas in 19, uh, about, I don't know, around six months later. I mean, it was, must have been the spring. Anyway, I don't want to get bogged down into that, but... Um, we were there seven months later and it looked like a war zone. It was, it was so horrible. Um, you would just see little concrete steps where a house used to be. And then piles of rubbish, like 10, 12 feet high that just went on for blocks. And this was seven months later and this was part of the cleanup process. And, and my cousin who had lived there for like 20 years kept getting lost because all the landmarks had been erased. And, um, he had to keep reading the street signs, which he never really did because he just went by landmarks. So, I mean, Swati, I'm glad you survived that. The, 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 the Category 5s are, are nothing to mess with. Of course, the Category 1s are nothing to mess with either, but it, honestly, a Category 1 around here, you know, it's got to be a Category 3 before people in the Carolinas even start to, to go to the store to get extra water. I, I'm not kidding, because they get so many here. But yeah, 5 is, 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 is tragedy, <laughs> and, and you don't want to ever, ever be in the pathway of that ever 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 um let's see we have css cssp boxers um says i love your crochets i did the one with pink hearts for my granddaughter oh great that must be the Aaron Hart crochet i'm glad you like that one that is such an old pattern i'm so glad that this crochet group asked me to do the the videos for those because actually that's what got me into doing more tutorials was people just requesting you know that i that i do that particular uh, tutorial um, uh, she says uh, proud Grammy crochet says what do you think about using true bow on that pink blanket I'm not real familiar with that um, oh on this if you're talking about this blanket uh, I'm not sure this this blanket actually if you're talking about this one um, proud Grammy um, I actually used a it's a DK weight yarn so I, I think the true bow is that's not that kind of a thicker yarn. Now you, you can probably do that, but just bump the hook size up to be appropriate to the yarn and give it a try. It's probably not going to have near the drape, but you can always swatch with it and see what you think. That's, that's what I tell people, you know, do a small swatch and, and the swatch will tell you a lot about a yarn. Um, I've fallen in love and I've run away disgusted <laughs> from some yarns after doing a swatch and I'll just like, you know, some of the, some yarn, I'll swatch up a piece and then afterwards I'm like, no, 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 no. And that other yarn, it's just like, I'm in love, you know? So, um, swatching is the way to go and, and swatching is just making a small sample. Um, and, and you can even change up different size hooks when you swatch too, to see if getting to a bigger hook will give you more drape or, you know, whatever you're looking for. Um, Let's see, I, I know I'm skipping over some of you guys, I'm sorry. We have Stephanie from Indianapolis and Bridget from, ooh, Kettering, UK. Wow, thank you for joining me from so far away, Indianapolis and the UK, wow. Um, and Bridget says it's first time joining us. Thank you for, for taking time out of your busy day. I know you all have lives that are really busy and full, especially with the pandemic and all. Um, and Mary says, we are having a beautiful day in England, too, about 28 degrees centigrade. Yay! My brain cannot translate that, but I'm guessing that's pretty good. <laughs> I live in a Fahrenheit world, Mary, and um, but but that's that sounds 
That sounds great. The fact that it's not raining there sounds even better. Um, and we have Archer and Ace. And thanks for the congratulations. And um, I see Lynn Smith says, Hello, Miss Bonnie and everybody. Hope everyone is doing well today. Yes, I think by the grace of God, yes, we are. Um, ah, Archer and Ace says, Rain is amazing. It poured in Ohio. Yeah, I think I mentioned already we got like four inches in overnight. I emptied out the rain gauge before the hurricane started so we would get an accurate reading on that too. Um, oh wow. Uh, da, 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 da. Jan says I wonder how much yarn I could save. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to save too. Uh, <laughs> um, I love loopy crochet and treasures. Says I'm very scared of storms. We have a lot of tornadoes in Alabama. Oh, I never ever want to see a tornado. I, I saw a comment here. Um, see, Diana says, it's Diana from New Jersey. I'm working on the sweater for my sister. The color is dark charcoal. The yarn I'm using is loops and threads, impeccable size. The size of hook is H 5.0 millimeter. Okay, um, I'm not sure which sweater, if you're talking about the Orlaith robe sweater, I hope you're getting gauge okay on that. Um, I used a size I, but um, hopefully you're doing okay, Diana. Just make sure you check the schematics on that. And if you're getting what you want, that's great. I'm looking forward to seeing that. That would be a great color. Um, interesting fact, the very first prototype of this sweater, I'll go ahead and put this aside. Um, the Orlaith robe sweater, this is the sweater she's talking about. Um, I've got the videos are out on that. Video number one's been released on Monday. Video number two comes. Video number two is going to teach you how to make the sleeves. And then video number three is going to put it all together and add the, um, the ribbing to the, you know, the collar and the buttonhole uh, section of the sweater. So anyway, I hope you all are enjoying that one. Um, I really enjoyed making that. And for those of you who are new to my channel and have never seen the sweater, um, that pattern... I can't offer it as an individual pattern because I don't own the rights to it. Those were sold many years ago to my publisher, but it's available in my Celtic Cable Crochet book. There are issues with the pattern. I want to. I, I like to be fully upfront about all that. However, they've all been. Let me go ahead and cover that up. There is an errata listing on my um, page. That information should be in the video description below. But if not, if you go to the the video on my homepage, in any of them with the Orlaith robe sweater, you'll see the link for the errata page and with the new schematic. So just print that out so that you have it. Um, and just be aware, I do try to talk about them in the, um, in the videos as much as possible. If you're going to do a size other than small, you're going to need um, the, the book. Um, for those of you who would like an autographed copy of it, I actually got a shipment of books in this week, so I have about 18 more of those left. Um, and if you look in the video description below, um, there's a link to my Etsy page where you can get a copy if you want if you want one that's you know autographed. Um, and I've kind of priced it so that it's it's comparable. It's not like you're gonna have to pay twenty dollars extra or anything like that. It's actually priced a little bit lower than Amazon just so because I have to charge extra for shipping and everything because I'm not Amazon um, so it comes out eh, about the same maybe a dollar or two more but um, that's just because I have to pay for the shipping supplies and um, I have to pay the postage and all that um, I do ship book rate so that keeps the price a little bit lower for both of us um, so if you don't mind waiting about a week I've got some copies on hand um, but they do have them at Amazon, Walmart.com, and all of that. So, let me see, that's all on the robe sweater. Um, we've talked about the Carolina Sun Throw. I'm looking at my list here. Talked about that, talked about that. Okay, ooh, you wanna see some yarn? Uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna put this down here. I will get back to your comments. Actually, there was one there was one comment that caught my eye. I wanted to read because we were just talking about about tornadoes. Um, Brat's mom said, "I saw the tornado in April 1967 that ripped through Chicago and Oakland, Illinois. Very scary. I was just a kid. I saw that and I'm like, oh my goodness. If I never see a tornado till the day I die, 
I'm gonna be so content. You know what I mean? Um, I've been through hurricanes. Those are not so great. Um, been through two earthquakes, believe it or not, in Maryland. I mean, and that, that was, I, I didn't like that at all. But tornadoes, when you hear them coming, no thank you. We, we were actually close to a tornado years ago. Um, we didn't see a tornado, but the sky had turned green and scary. And it turned out that there was a tornado in our city at that, that day. We found out later and we saw the damage. And we had something that was before it turns into our, to our tornado kind of skipped by our house. And then like a block away, I'm not kidding, just ripped how, how, uh, roofs off houses. But I didn't see anything like that. But I don't ever want to see a tornado. But I am so glad that, um, that you were okay with that. Well, let's get on. <clears throat> let's get on with... Uh, I have just an unboxing. This this actually came this morning. So, um, and th this is yarn that I requested. Um, as a designer, um, many of you may not know this, but I can get complimentary yarn basically from, from uh, certain places. And this is one of my favorite places to get yarn because I, I love, I love their yarn. And um, it's also kind of an experiment. I'm, I'm gonna try, try this brand on a design and see how I like it. And I'll definitely tell you about it. I, I did sample it, I did swatch with this uh, last year and I liked the yarn a lot. I just didn't do anything with it. Um, gonna, ooh, ooh, this is nice. Um, let's put this here. You can probably guess what this is gonna be. There's a lot of yarn in here. Oh, this is a nice color. Ooh, look at this. I'll go ahead and open one up for you. Um, this is 100% acrylic. This is um, another one of those cost-effective yarns. Um, ah, sorry, gotta get my glasses. Okay, this is Brava. This is um, worsted weight, 218 yards or 100 grams. 100% um, premium acrylic. Oh, and it feels, it feels really nice. Um, I've not worked with it yet, so as far as, you know, the occurrence of knots and so forth, um, the jury is out on that. I, I will let you know, though. You know me, I'm, I'm a straight shooter. I will let you know. Um, so, how many did we get here? Ooh, we got a bunch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I asked for 26, 12... Yeah, I asked for 20 and that's what they sent me. So um, you can probably guess what this is gonna be. It's not something you wear, it's something for your home. Get, think, think, think. Yeah, right. Um, so be looking for solid colored throws, Afghans. Actually, these are gonna be a little bit bigger than throws. Coming in the winter of 2021, okay? I am working up something super sweet for you all. And um, it's going to be economical. It's not going to break the bank. And of course, you know, whatever, you know, whenever I put these, these out, you, you use whatever you want. I mean, I just, you know, I just like using different things to, you know, just to see what's out there. Okay, where'd my glasses go? There they are. So that's, that's basically what it is. It's just a whole bunch of this yarn. And it's, um, I like the color. It's kind of, it's not orange, but it's not red either. It's kind of like a brick, burnt, burnt orange kind of a color. I think it's going to be nice to work with for the fall. Um, and just to have, um, and that's actually, this color is going to look great in my living room. In my living room, I have um, like a two-tone wall. It's brown. At, oh, there goes an ambulance. It's brown and um, kind of old-fashioned sponge painted, um, kind of a, kind of an, a yellow, kind of a yellow with a hint of orange in it anyway. So I think it's gonna look really nice in there. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, we have Jackie from East London. Whoa, Jackie. Jackie, do you ever go to the London Loop? I, I was really impressed with that store. I just wanna let you know. I, I imagine if you are in East London, I imagine you've been there before. Um, loved, loved visiting your town, by the way. Um, had so much fun. 
when I was there last fall. Um, yeah, let's see. Ooh, we have... Oh, okay, Brad's mom says, I couldn't save all my yarn is all over the house. Is, in regard, is that, I'm wondering if that's in regard to the tornado thing? Um, ah, sorry, Brad's mom, I'm, I'm a little slow on the uptake here. Um, and Paula says, we can only pray over natural disasters. Amen. We realize how small we really are, don't we, Paula, when stuff like this happens. I mean, there's nothing we can do about this. Um, let's see. My thing just jumped on me, guys. Tanika says, I never drool, not about to start. <laughs> that's funny. I guess I'm guessing that's about the yarn. Um, and Rebecca says, my mom drew through the eye of a tornado when I was a child. Oh my goodness, that must have been interesting, Rebecca. Ugh. Um, oh, and Archerne says, what are you, you're making me drool. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I didn't know this was coming today, so I'm like, yay. I have something to show you all. So if you're here and you're looking for only yarn and crochet, I did I did talk about it a little bit, right? Um, so, and this this brand, okay, someone's asking me again, the brand. Um, this is uh, a brand that's available through Knit Picks. It's, you have to go to knitpicks.com. And I think I have a link in the video description below if you want to go online. One thing I liked about this yarn, let me, where'd I put it? Ah. Uh, one thing, one thing I liked about this, oh, it does feel soft. Um, I, I've been working with some, dare I say it, some Red Heart yarn earlier today. I mean, it's a, it's pretty yarn. You're going to see that design in a couple weeks, but it is not soft. I mean, some of their yarn is soft, but the stuff that I picked up from, from Walmart um, a few days ago to make a design is so not soft. But I think I'm going to work with that. I'm going to take that yarn and I'm going to soak it in... in um, probably conditioner and I'm going to make that yarn soft. I'm going to figure out how to do it so this yarn, that other yarn is usable, but um, I'm not going to have to do it with this. This is really nice, but um, all all of this is um, is unique to Knit Picks. It's not going to be available at the store. So, and, and I'm not sure how widespread Knit Picks is. I don't know if it's, um, I don't know if it's international. I don't know if they ship to UK or not. I don't think they do, but um, but you can maybe go online and find out. I'm sorry, I don't know more about that for you all, you know, outside the U.S. I'm not trying to be U.S. centric only, but um, you know, sometimes you just got to find what you what you have in your area. And and you know, those of you who live in other countries, I mean, I've been to other places, other countries, and you guys have amazing yarn. So you know, whenever I'm talking about a particular brand, you know, just use what you love and know already in your area. Um, so. So anyway, I like, but one thing good though about going with um, the yarn with paint box is it's both, uh, they have a, a warehouse in the U.S. where they ship from and they also, they're actually U.K. based and you all from the U.K. know that already. Um, so you can get the yarn from them. So that's at least good. Whether they ship to the European continent or not, I'm not sure. Um, so if you all want to email me and tell me, you know, what your experience is, like if you're in Germany or Switzerland, if they... You know, if you can, if you could order yarn from, if they ship, you know, to the, you know, to the main um, Asian continent or not, I, I don't know, but at least it's there, you know, for you all in in the London area and places like that. Um, let me see. Ooh, we got a lot of comments here. Um, I'm so sorry, guys, if I miss your comment. You got a lot of great comments here. I will. I promise. Once this video renders at the end, I do read every single one of them and and. You all are so good. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, sorry, I am really way behind. Um, Jan. Da, 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 da. Okay, so you guys are talking about the weather in London and Chicago. That's pretty cool. Um, and Suzanne says, is there any reason no one ever likes the live videos? Oh, yeah, guys, if you want to hit the like button, that would be great. I always forget that. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe subscribe um got lots of fun things coming your way um again in the middle of this intermediate project right now that once this intermediate project finishes i'm going to be releasing a, an easy beginner video video again um, and i have got so many surprises lined up for the fall and winter and so many things i'm excited about and i have to sit on it i found out some amazing news yesterday but i am sworn to secrecy 
So can't say, but uh, lots of fun things coming. Lots and lots of fun things coming. Um, I can't say that. So um, almost as exciting as a vaccine. Well, maybe not as exciting as that, but, but very exciting. Um, oh, Jody says, got a Susan Bates soft handle hook coming to me soon. Will it convert me from Clover? Excited to see. Let me know, Jody. Weigh in on that. Um, but I know a lot of people who are into the clover hooks or die hard clover hook people. And I respect that, no problem. I think it's whatever your muscle memory gets used to. I really like this, the squishiness of the clover, but they just don't have enough space for me to work. But um, those fancy things weren't available when I started crocheting over 50 years ago. So, you know, I just made do with whatever I had. And um, so the Susan Bates Soft is like, uh, it, it, it floats my boat in a big way. It, it, it's, that's just what all I've been able to really enjoy. But, um, but do let me know. I would love to hear your evaluation on that. And I'm totally open-minded. Um, let's see. It says Tracy says, Westchester County, New York, and power is just starting to come back. So happy I have enough. Yeah. Um, one of my tech, tech editors, the good tech editor, <laughs> um, that I know Lindsay um, said that they're still waiting on power and they actually had to move their family to a hotel and they're outside of New York. So sorry that happened to you guys. Um, and let's see. Uh, Freaky Geek wants to know, how heavy are those giant buttons? Um, they're lightweight. They're lightweight. Um, they're, they're made out of bamboo, I think, or some kind of lightweight wood. Um, but you know, if you want something just slightly smaller, that would probably work just as well. Um, these are like maybe, maybe a quarter of an inch bigger than what I wanted. But at the time I ordered these and was working on this, I couldn't go to the store. And, um, that was just the prettiest I could find online without actually touching it. So when they came, I'm like, okay, yeah, that'll work, you know, but, um, I, I love button shopping and just, just didn't want to risk it, um, doing that. Um, Tanika says, North Europe has a heat wave, 35 degrees Celsius and rising. My roses burn by the heat. Oh, sorry about that. And um, for those of you in the States that haven't been to Europe before, there are a lot of places in Europe that don't even have air conditioning because they just don't need it. I mean, they might need it for a day or two of the year and that's it because the weather's so nice. Um, when my daughter spent um, a summer working as a um, as an all pair in Switzerland for a family with five kids. Um, they didn't have air conditioning. They didn't need it. And she used to get cold at night, but they were also, you know, not far from the foot of the Alps. So I'm like, well, duh. I mean, <laughs> it was like perfect summer. Like the high was like around 70, 72, N no joke. So, um, so those people over there don't understand why we have to have air conditioning. Well, <laughs> when it's 98, 100, you need it, right? <laughs> Actually, 85 and up, you need it. But, um, but, but yeah, I, I hope, I hope you, that heat wave snaps soon for you so you get back to what you're used to over there in Northern Europe. Um, let's see, Paula says, I love clover hooks. I have arthritis. Clover is kind to my hands. Yep, that's a good consideration for those. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit of that in mind too, Paula, just, um, the joints are hurting so you know i may have to look into something at least slower maybe just working slower would, would help me um thanks for the, the the prompt donna about hitting the like button i i would have not remembered had i not read your comment just thank you for that um and thanks for the the encouragement there on the sweater alana um uh, Freaky Geek says, try to vote and keep finding myself at a pay page. No, you don't need to go to a pay page, um, Freaky Geek. Um, email me if you're still having trouble. Um, I, I can kind of guide you through that. Um, on my, I, I had to go through, because it took me a, a couple minutes to figure it out myself. So I don't know why pages have to be so difficult. But thanks for trying. Uh, and Suzanne says, um, would, would hitting the like thumbs up Yes, hitting the thumbs up, Suzanne, that does help. Um, it's in, in some ways, it's all about the algorithm on YouTube. The more people that the computer sees likes something, then I think they tend to maybe promote it a little bit more. I don't understand all the analytics behind that, but I think that's, that's what that's about. Um, 
And Taneke says, I'm halfway, halfway the bottom of the sweater. Use silk mohair, so use the biggest size as it would be a bit smaller. I'm very interested to see that when you're done. I would love to see that. I, I'm actually working with a, uh, I'm knitting something with um, mohair uh, silk. Um, it's an interesting project. I'm going to show it to you all at some point. But I'm lear I've learned how to knit broomstick. Yes, knit broomstick. It's wild. Um, but I'm just trying to, you know, stretch my my learning bank, trying to add tools to my, my knitting toolbox. Um, okay, there is one more thing I wanted to mention um, before it gets too late and before I forget. Um, the, the sign up for the CGOA live classes. These are the virtual classes. Um, uh, I talked about this last week. Sign up is still on. You can still sign up. Um, the classes are not cheap. Um, so if you're sitting down, let me just tell you the three hour class is $75. Okay. Um, and that's for, you know, whichever one there, um, that's how much they cost. Um, just to let you know, all that money does not go into my pocket. I am actually paid a straight hourly wage by the um, Crochet Guild and a lot of the, the actually, mostly the bulk of that money actually goes towards the organization and keeping it alive and, and paying for administration and so forth. Um, but the two classes, um, I don't know if they're filled or not yet. I don't have that information, but it is limited to 25 per class. Um, you're going to have to be a little bit techy on doing this, you're gonna to have to know how to run Zoom um, so that you can participate. But I'm really looking forward to it. This is gonna be like live where we actually see one another and, and talk and ask questions. Um, it's gonna be one hour a day over three day periods. It's gonna be August 17th, 18th, and 19th. And it's not just unique to people in America. Anybody worldwide can participate, although, um, the time is actually going to favor, as you would imagine, um, the North American continent. Um, but anybody can participate. If you are not a CGOA member and you want to sign up for these classes, it's going to save you a ton of money if you just join. Um, and if you do join the Crochet Guild of America, um, you get you automatically are subscribed to the Crochet Magazine, not Crochet World. This is another magazine that I've contributed to some over the years um, and um, or I've been published in uh, some um, and um, you get you're basically subscribed to that you get four copies of that per year um, with your subscription price so really the subscription price that you pay I think it's around thirty five dollars I could be wrong on that I haven't checked that in a while um, but it's for the year and it, it gives you lower class fees. It, it also gives you other perks when you attend conferences. Um, there's also a mentorship program um, with this organization. So if you wanted, let's say, me to mentor you through, mentor you through, let's say, becoming a designer or getting published or something like that, you can request that and because I'm on their list of mentors. Um, it, it'll link you up with somebody that you can, you know, um, correspond with and, and get advice from, or you can, you know, get in touch with other people. Um, it's a great place to join, especially if you want to get into the business of um, publishing and doing things like that. But if you just want to take classes, they are available. And, um, you know, give it a try. The two classes that I'm teaching, the one is I Love Crochet Cables, um, and it covers about seven to nine different cabling techniques. And the other class is Beginning Knitting for Crocheters. There's a promo video on my homepage that I released this week, uh, this past Wednesday. So if you just want to click on that, it has all the details. I could try to explain the times and the time zones, but I know I'll get it wrong. So, so um, I, it's just, it's just mind boggling because, uh, you know, everybody's on a different time zone. Even in the U.S., you have Central, um, Eastern, Mountain, Pacific. And then you have states like Arizona that don't do daylight savings time. So, so where they're really in, you know, the mountain time, they really go by Pacific. Yeah, it's, it's a mess. So check out that video if you're interested in those live virtual classes. It's using Zoom. So um, I already had someone email me today and say they were wanting to sign up, but they didn't have a, they don't have a microphone on their computer. 
Um, I think having a microphone is going to be very important if you want to interact in the class. And that's kind of the, you know, the, why you're actually paying extra is to interact with, um, you know, with me or, or with whatever, whatever teacher. There are other classes available too with this Crochet Guild, not just my classes. Um, um, I don't even remember who all is there, but um, definitely check that out if that's something you're interested in. Um, it's kind of the substitute for actual in-person classes that, as you know, were canceled. We we're supposed to be having the conference back in July in, um, in New Orleans, in New Orleans, I guess is how you say that, but um, didn't come to pass, um, which is kind of a bummer, but it's next year, next July in Denver, Colorado. Yay, Colorado. So um, I'm hoping to be there next year. Don't know if I'm going to be teaching because um, I don't know if they're going to select new teachers for next year. Don't know how that's going to work. But even if I'm not teaching, I'm going to really make it a priority to get there um, so that I can see some of you all, you know, who, who do some of the traveling there. Um, so anyway, let me see if I can catch up with some of you here now. Um, Jane Kenny says, just joined, cooked a lamb curry, and the weather in England is very hot. Wow, 36 degrees centigrade. Ooh, lamb curry. That sounds delicious, Jane. <laughs> I'll be right over. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Brat's mom. She said, um, whenever I see Bonnie's live coming on, I hit thumbs up right away, then go into the live chat. Thank you for doing that. Um, you're, you're, you know how to do that better than I do. <laughs> um, Wow, so all you UK folks are uh, kind of sizzling there. Uh, Michelle says, I always forget to hit like, so I just did. Well, thank you. Yeah, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of admin. And if you want to hit the bell on when you're on my main page, that'll make sure that you get all the notifications when I go live and when I upload things. I think that's the way it works. Um, and Basic Art and Drawing says, what's that in the background? Uh, I'm not sure how, how late you... Posted. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Or you don't know if you're talking about the sweater. I'll go ahead and take the sweater out again. It's way too hot for me to put this on. Just let you see the sweater. I am so excited that I'll be able to wear this in not too long. You know, this is August, which means September is right around the corner, and then after September comes October, and then I've already seen um I've already seen Halloween stuff at the stores. I was in um, the store yesterday getting some things that we needed for food, and it's like, oh wow, Halloween stuff already. Wow, this is only August, but you know Christmas trees are coming. <laughs> but um, but you guys are crafters, so we're okay with that, right? Because we're we're already thinking Christmas, and I'm thinking some things I'll be putting up there for gifts soon too. Um, Suzanne says, that is great because there were 93 people enjoying the live and very few likes. Ah, thank you, Suzanne. Yeah, guys, hit hit like if you can. That would be great. Um, uh, Tanike says, not going to happen. All natural disasters are awful. Yes, they are. <laughs> Freaky Geek says, Wizard of Oz is my only twister. Yep. Did you know that they made that twister in that movie? with a big bolt of material, like, uh, what's that material called? Um, can't think of it. It's brown, it looks kind of like sackcloth. Uh, anyway, they made it with a big bolt of material. That is just so cool when I watched a program on how they did that. Uh, and TNK says, drove through the Badlands when tornado season was out. What an awful natural disaster. Yeah, can you believe there are people that like to chase tornadoes? Whew, those people need to get their head examined. <laughs> uh, um, wow, so you, you poor people are well really hot over there in the UK. Um, that's one thing about the hurricane. When after it came through, it was um, the next day. I tell you this: after the hurricane blew through here, the next day was was perfectly blue sky, not a cloud in the sky, sun shining. It was like perfect. It was like 82, 85 degrees, just felt nice and cool, comparatively speaking. But um, yeah, it was it was a gorgeous day. I got out and I think I took my mother-in-law for a drive. I mean, it, just, it was just great. Um, let's see. Oh, Donna says, um, the book was in 20 carts. I snagged one before it was gone. Really? Oh, wow. Well, I might have to order some more, Donna. <laughs> I've got 18 right now, and I've got maybe a couple others upstairs. If I have to, I could order more. But if you guys, as far as the 
both those, the Celtic cable crochet. I know I'm all over the place here. I'm sorry. Um, I can order more. I just have to, um, it just, it, it just won't come like that from Amazon because it takes me time to get them from my publisher. And actually just to let you know, what's really cool about my new publisher Penguin Random House is, um, these are being published in the U S before the pandemic, they were published in China with my old publisher. And, um, and then of course, once the pandemic hit, um, supply completely dried up. So they had to find a local, um, in country publishing. So these were published, uh, these are published in the U S now. Um, now I did go online and notice that in the UK and in Europe, they're not available anymore. And I think it's because of the ones that were published in China, you know, don't exist anymore. Um, so I don't know when they're coming. I, I've had to try to figure that out. I'll need to talk to my publisher and find out if they're going to be replenishing them with the Amazons in the UK. Um, but I'll have to get back to you on that. I don't know if that's been a problem there or not. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm just trying to see if there are any questions here. Yes, yes, Lynn, we're going to be doing another Afghan. Getting back to that, definitely an Afghan. Um, and this is going to be a brand new pattern. I don't even know what the pattern is going to look like yet, but I have ideas and have drawings that I'm going for. for. Um, I did do one Afghan that will be coming out after Christmas. And it. I, I want to say it's my all-time favorite. And that's all I'll say, but it's coming. It's coming. It's going to take about 19 scans of the paint box yarn of the, um, paint box yarn. Yeah. The worsted Aaron weight yarn. Uh, and that'll be coming out in January. And, um, I think you're going to like it. It's so far. I mean, I'm not kidding you. This is my all time. It, it's in the top three, but it's, I think it's going to be one of my all time favorites. So I can't wait to show you guys, but I'm just going to tease you along for now. Um, Let's see. Uh, okay. Hey, Hannah. I didn't get to say hi to my daughter, and you've been there the whole time. Thank you, Hannah, for, for being there, sweetheart. I didn't mean to. I wasn't forgetting you, I promise. Um, all right. Well, let me go ahead. Yeah, as Jan says, Storm Chaser for sure need to get some help. <laughs> yes, they do. Um, there were two of my kids, my oldest kids, that was one thing they wanted to do was to go out west like to Kansas and, and enjoy one of those storm chaser things um, with that special tank. And it's like, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't even care how big fancy your tank is. There's no way I'm going to purposefully get in the way of one of those things. Um, I, 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 know, I know God is a lot bigger than we can imagine, and there's no way that I want to find out um, just how strong through a tornado I am. My mama raised me to be smarter than that. I guess I didn't raise my kids to be so smart. Uh, oh, anyway, um, don't tell her my don't tell her I said that, Hannah. <laughs> um, and I wanted to um, go ahead and read you some encouraging words at the end, like I always try to do, um, because I figure if I need this, maybe somebody out there does too. And and just just to preface this, you know me, I'm not I'm not pushy. I'm not trying to shove anything down anybody's throat. God forbid that I do that. I, that's not my my uh, mode of operation at all. Um, but you know, sometimes I read things that just really encourage me, and I just think, wow. Um, I think somebody. I think I needed to hear that. Maybe maybe you do too. I don't know. Or if not, just just bear with me. Okay. Um, this is meant to encourage. Um, reading out of um, an old Methodist hymnal from Conway First Methodist Church. I'm assuming it was a, a gift. <laughs> um, found it upstairs in my mother-in-law's um, stash of, of hymns. And this is um, number 126 um, called Jesus, Lover of My Soul. And this was written in the 1700s by a man you might know named Charles Wesley. And I'm just going to read through the four verses. It just uh, really resonated with me today. Jesus, lover of my soul, let me to thy bosom fly, while the nearer waters roll, while the tempest still is high. Hide me, O my Savior, hide, till the storm of life is past. Safe into the haven guide, O receive my soul at last. Other refuge I have none, hangs my helpless soul on thee. Leave, ah, leave me not alone, still support and comfort me. 
All my trust on thee is stayed. All my help from thee I bring. Cover my defenseless head with the shadow of thy wing. Thou, O Christ, art all I want, more than all in thee I find. Raise the fallen, cheer the faint, heal the sick, and lead the blind. Just and holy is thy name. I am all unrighteousness. False and full of sin I am. Thou art full of truth and grace. Plenteous grace with thee is found. Grace to cover all my sin. Let the healing streams abound. Make and keep me pure within. Thou of life the fountain art. Freely let me take of thee. Spring thou up within my heart. Rise to all eternity. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I just love, 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 love hymns. And um, thanks for, for sticking with me for so long, you guys. Um, those of you who... Um, stick all the way to the end. I so appreciate that. Um, in fact, let me do something. I wasn't going to do this, but since some of you diehards are still here, I want to give away two books. Okay. We reached 120,000 subscribers this week on YouTube. So I want to give two more copies of this book away. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm not even going to advertise this. This is just going to be a little hidden egg in this video. So for those of you who are still left, <clears throat> I have, okay, numbers between 1 and 10, and then, okay, I have, let me, hold on, don't, don't, don't send me any numbers yet. I'm going to write these down. Hold on a second. This is very last minute. Okay, so I'm going to write this number down. Okay, and I have them written down so that I can show you that I'm not being partial. Okay, okay, go ahead. A number between 1 and 10. The first two people that get either of those numbers uh, gets a good book. Now, you have to be in the U.S. I'm sorry. I don't ship outside. Um, but if you, if you win and you're from the outside, I'll send you something digital. Okay. Okay. Sweet Susie, you are a winner. And Liz Ferrari. So we have our winners. Thanks for playing, guys. This is fun. So Sweet Susie and Liz Ferrari. I'm going to put a, an email address. Ah. Okay. I just put my email address in the chat. So just send me an email. And um, as soon as I get your, um, your address, I, all you need to do is send me an email. Send me your um, mailing address. Again, I don't keep the mailing addresses. Once the book goes in the mail, I, I clear it out. I don't, I don't add you to any spam list or anything like that. I don't, I don't like doing that. And um, let me do, I'm going to do another game. Um, this is with, this. I, I'm going to start this one let's say, um, after this video goes off and, and starts rendering, um, using the comments, let's tell you what, how am I going to do that? I'm trying to think if I can somehow bless the people that weren't able to join the live chat. You know what? I'm not going to do that right now because I want to encourage people to come join with us live because you guys interacting on the group chat are amazing. And I think people should experience that. It's a, a place in cyberspace that I feel like is rated G and, and um, we do have people helping guard, my, my daughter and, and Esther helping to guard the chat, but um, we don't have all the negativity that a lot of even, even, even fiber uh, channels have sometimes. They really get political and ew, all kinds of yucky stuff and um, we don't have that here and I just love it if people can experience that, that the internet can be a good place to be and you guys you, you ladies and gentlemen make it that for me and, and for all the rest of us. So I just want to thank you for that. And on that note, I really do need to go. I am getting hungry <laughs> and I need to go check on my mother-in-law. But um, thank you again for joining us. I, I love you guys. I just uh, can't wait till next Friday to get here. I can't get here soon enough. God bless. Bye-bye.